Hello and welcome back to Grassroots Crypto. In this video, I want to show you a couple of tools that you can use to track how your staking is going. See whether or not you've incurred any permanent loss, see whether or not you've been better off as a liquidity provider or just holding. Um, the first one I want to show you is going to be the RuneStake info.beta beta tool. Um, I've grabbed some random addresses. I've had to go through a few to find the examples just by going to um, view block pools and clicking on the relevant pool and grabbing just random addresses I'm on page four so I don't know whose these are um, I just needed to grab something to provide the right example so the first random one I'm going to be putting in here is just a single uh, a single <laughs> address just so we can walk you through the tool and it doesn't have a space at the front so here we have a single pool. Um, you pump your address in, you can bookmark it, you can save it, stuff like that, which is cool. Um, and it shows you over the period of time, what's been happening with your BNB. You can change what's been happening in your room. And this is the rebalancing process as, you know, funds from one type of asset versus room need to move around to, to keep the pool at a 50-50 bar, uh, balance, 50-50 split. So putting it back to, to um, dollars. So we can see we, we started with $5,000, we're now worth $8,000 and this gives us a gain of 63% or 3,355. So this is how you know how much you've made or lost um, due to price movements. And then this gives you a comparison of being a liquidity provider or an LP versus just holding, this is holding your um, assets in a, in a wallet. So by being an LP, you're up by about 11% here or $917. And that's cool. Um, you can see here that the pool has been rebalanced. So whilst we started with 6,250 rune, we've got less than that. So we've lost about 1,500 rune in the process, but gained about 70 BNB. And that shifting is quite normal, particularly over 78 days, as the, the balance is gonna re put up. The pool's going to rebalance due to price movements. Uh, what we're going to get now, if we were, you know, withdraw, well, I don't, it's not my wallet, but if if the, whoever owns this wallet was to withdraw, this is the actual uh, redeemable assets that would be withdrawing. And down here, this is a bit of a summary, which is also depicted uh, up top. This is the value that was added. Nothing's been withdrawn, um, and then this is the current value. This is then again a summarization of, of what's up here, or the same thing as what's up here. And this is the APY. APY is annual percentage yield. And this is usually an annual figure, but this is calculated weekly. Just understand it's weekly, that might change from you know, week to week. The duration is 78 days. So this is when the position or the staking or the, the funds were added to the liquidity pool. You can actually do um, or save the URL and hide the amount. And you see this a lot in the chat where I've hidden the amount, I've hidden the address, I quite like that. Um, and we can go ahead and unhide that. Last feature is you can do show only since the last event. So you might have staked five times. This will show you how you've gone since the last time that you, you staked. Uh, this is not want to do it, but um, that's all right, we'll, we'll move on. Because oh, I've got no address up top. So this, this is an example of a multiple uh, pool. So we've got here Bitcoin, this is uh, Binance and then Ether. And you can see this is gonna have, you know, different different numbers, amount entered, what's it worth today, gains across the board and stuff like that. So it looks like uh, Ethereum's been pretty good here for this particular person over the, this, you know, quite a long time period as well. Um, I guess 70, 79 days is not really that long, but you know, since CalSnet hasn't been around for that long, it's fairly long in, in CalSnet terms. Uh, so you can do that. Another tool I want to show you as, as, at a glance is also the room balance. So I can put the same address in here and then that will show me um, what the value is, the actual account value um, across the different pools. And this is really good if you have assets that have like 10 or 20 different addresses that have 10 or 20 different um, uh, you know, pools that it's staked into. So this tool, you can actually change the duration. So you want to know what's the what's the gains over a certain time period? Is it um, one day over one week? Uh, Rune state shows you since uh, it was um, staked, so the, the total duration of it. Where uh, this one would show you based off whatever time that's been selected, which would be a little bit different to what you see under, under the Rune state uh, tool. I'm going to show you one more. This is a bit more of a multiple. 
it's minus 3% for the BNB. I think this is one of the longest ones going. Uh, let me know if you've got any more positions that are longer than 90 days. Um, so this is an example where it would have been better to hold than stake as liquidity provider by the tune of $115. So that's just an example of how it would have been better in this case to hold the, uh, the asset as opposed to um, uh, be a liquidity provider. This might change over time. Um, I just want to show an example here. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that. I hope that helps you understand or, or where to go to, to have a look at what's going on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks until next time. Bye.